So we out here at Rafa's garage. Get out of work. Guess who's here? Ronnie. Doing cold overs on his Beamer again. And somewhat a pain in the butt. Hey, Beamers. They're more difficult than Celica's. So, taking off the coil. Uh, this one's already done. So, he removed the lower control arm. He can take off the spring. And then, he took off the struts. One on the top, one in the bottom. I'm not sure we're going to replace the toe and the camber today. But we are going to install the coil overs right now. BCs. And I think he removed this also. Because um, he thought he was going to replace that. But all you got to do is remove, remove this one, loosen that one, and remove one and two in the bottom, and that's it. Ronnie's getting the top one right now for the other side. And my little brother's getting the bottom one. Oh, there. Today is another day. Ronnie's already here. Uh, we just installed the rear coilovers and the camber arm and toe arm aftermarket. Uh, pretty easy. They were just size 18s. Um, and right now we're going to adjust the height because this is how high it sits right now. It's the highest it sits right now. So. We're gonna lower it down. The reason we didn't slam it yesterday was because um, he was gonna be here tomorrow, so we could install the fronts. And um, he didn't want to rub on his way home. So it's all the way up. Today we're gonna mess with it and play around with the height. So there it is. The rear is already dropped. You can still go like another half an inch. Yep. But if you go half an inch, he's gonna rub. He's gonna need a little camper on the other side so it won't rub so time to do the fronts so we barely took off the coal or actually the oem strip on this uh this one was a pain in the ass i'm not gonna lie <sighs> it's just gonna die um basically you have a bolt here for the bracket for the brake line um, which goes all the way through. All the way through here. This is where the bracket goes. Um, then, of course, your end link, sway bar link. So, and then this spindle, you had to pry up a little bit. I used a screwdriver and hammer it in, still there. And then this will come off. You have, of course, uh three bolts up here uh let me see if i can open this <clears throat> so you got three bolts over here size 13 and then we removed this one with the reversed uh hex nut so made it easier to get access to this one because we're almost stripping it um and this is the other one we still haven't taken off so one two three and then we took off this one so it gave us some more space to get that back one um ronnie's preloading the coil over i showed him how to do it i did it yeah i did and I had to loosen it for him because he doesn't go to the gym. Like, dude, this. look at, look at <laughs> this. Look at this. <laughs> hey, that loosened up that one. What are you talking about? So, oh, fuck. hurry up, Ronnie. It's taking forever, man. I'm going to come piss you out again. Come on. Don't piss me off. So, this one has adjustable end links, shorter end links. So, we got to take off those over there. And hopefully, it's not a pain in the ass. 
when installing this, um, they have little alignment tool alignment, so that goes in the middle, right there. Um, and it's fairly easy. After that, um, some people take off this uh, tie rod to get more leeway to bring it down. We didn't. Um, if you do, you have to take out the tire wheel alignment or liner, whatever you call it. But Ronnie did that for nothing because we didn't take off that bolt. Told you, Ronnie, we could do it without it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he mad because I always shut him up. <laughs> and so we already put this side on. Uh, he still has like another like inch and a half. Yeah. He could drop. Now I have to do the other side. So this is him trying to like <laughs> loosen it up. Thank you.